Glutamic acid, abbreviated as GLURE, is one of the 20 to 22 proteinogenic amino acids, and its codons are GAA and GAG. It is a non essential amino acid. The carboxylate anions and salts of glutamic acid are known as glutamates. In neuroscience, glutamate is an important neurotransmitter that plays a key role in long term potentiation and is important for learning and memory. Chemistry the side chain carboxylic acid functional group has a pK of 4.1, and therefore exists almost entirely in its negatively charged deprotonated carboxylate form at pH values greater than 4.1, therefore, it is negatively charged at physiological pH ranging from 7.35 to 7.45. History Glutamic acid, flavor Although they occur naturally in many foods, the flavor contributions made by glutamic acid and other amino acids were only scientifically identified early in the 20th century. The substance was discovered and identified in the year 1866, by the German chemist Karl Heinrich Leopold Rittors and who treated wheat gluten, for which it was named, with sulfuric acid. In 1908 Japanese researcher Kikuni Ikeda of the Tokyo Imperial University identified brown crystals left behind after the evaporation of a large amount of kombu broth as glutamic acid. These crystals, when tasted, reproduced the ineffable but undeniable flavor he detected in many foods, most especially in seaweed. Professor Ikeda termed this flavor umami. He then patented a method of mass producing a crystalline salt of glutamic acid, monosodium glutamate. Biosynthesis reactants products enzymes glutamine plus H2O glu plus NH3 GLS, GLS2 NAC glu plus H2O glu plus acetate, unknown, ketoglutarate plus NADPH plus NH4 plus glu plus NADP plus plus H2O GLUT1, GLUT2, ketoglutarate plus, amino acids glu plus, keto acid transaminase 1 pyroline 5 carboxylate plus NAD plus plus H2O glu plus NADH ALDH4 1 N4 amino L glutamate plus FH4 glu plus 5 form amino FH4. FDC DNAG glu plus NAAGCPII. Function and uses. Metabolism. Glutamate is a key compound in cellular metabolism. In humans, dietary proteins are broken down by digestion into amino acids, which serve as metabolic fuel for other functional roles in the body. A key process in amino acid degradation is transamination, in which the amino group of an amino acid is transferred to an ketocid, typically catalyzed by a transaminase. The reaction can be generalized as such. R1 amino acid plus R2, ketocid R1, ketocid plus R2 amino acid. A very common keto acid is ketoglutarate, an intermediate in the citric acid cycle. Transamination of ketoglutarate gives glutamate. The resulting ketocid product is often a useful one as well, which can contribute as fuel, or as a substrate for further metabolism processes. Examples are as follows. Alanine plus, ketoglutarate pyruvate plus glutamate. Aspartate plus, ketoglutarate oxalosate plus glutamate. Both pyruvate and oxalosate are key components of cellular metabolism, contributing as substrates or intermediates in fundamental processes such as glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, and the citric acid cycle. Glutamate also plays an important role in the body's disposal of excess or waste nitrogen. Glutamate undergoes demination, an oxidative reaction catalyzed by glutamate dehydrogenase, as follows. Glutamate plus H2O plus NADP plus, ketoglutarate plus NADPH plus NH3 plus H plus. Ammonia, as ammonium, is then excreted predominantly as urea, synthesized in the liver. Transamination can, thus, be linked to demination, effectively allowing nitrogen from the amine groups of amino acids to be removed, via glutamate as an intermediate, and finally excreted from the body in the form of urea. Neurotransmitter. Glutamate is the most abundant excitatory neurotransmitter in the vertebrate nervous system. At chemical synapses, glutamate is stored in vesicles. Nerve impulses trigger release of glutamate from the presynaptic cell. In the opposing postsynaptic cell, glutamate receptors, such as the NMDA receptor, binds glutamate and are activated. Because of its role in synaptic plasticity, glutamate is involved in cognitive functions like learning and memory in the brain. The form of plasticity known as long-term potentiation takes place at glutamatergic synapses in the hippocampus, neocortex, and other parts of the brain.
glutamate works not only as a point-to-point -point transmitter, but also through spillover synaptic crosstalk between synapses in which summation of glutamate released from a neighboring synapse creates extrasynaptic signaling slash volume transmission. Glutamate transporters are found in neuronal and glial membranes. They rapidly remove glutamate from the extracellular space. And brain injury or disease, they can work in reverse, and excess glutamate can accumulate outside cells. This process causes calcium ions to enter cells via NMDA receptor channels, leading to neuronal damage and eventual cell death, and is called dexitotoxicity. The mechanisms of cell death include damage to mitochondria from excessively high intracellular CADU+, GLU-CADU+, mediated promotion of transcription factors for proapatitic genes, or downregulation of transcription factors for antiapatitic genes. Excitotoxicity due to excessive glutamate release, and impaired uptake occurs as part of the ischemic cascade, and is associated with stroke and diseases like amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, lathyrism, autism, some forms of mental retardation, and Alzheimer's disease. In contrast, decreased glutamate release, is observed under conditions of classical phenylcatenuria leading to developmental disruption of glutamate receptor expression. Glutamic acid has been implicated in epileptic seizures. Microinjection of glutamic acid into neurons produces spontaneous depolarizations around one second apart, and this firing pattern is similar to what is known as paroxysmal depolarizing shift in epileptic attacks. This change in the resting membrane potential at seizure foci could cause spontaneous opening of voltage-activated calcium channels, leading to glutamic acid release and further depolarization. Experimental techniques to detect glutamate in intact cells include using a genetically engineered nanosensor. The sensor is a fusion of a glutamate binding protein and two fluorescent proteins. When glutamate binds, the fluorescence of the sensor under ultraviolet light changes by resonance between the two fluorophores. Introduction of the nanosensor into cells enables optical detection of the glutamate concentration. Synthetic analogues of glutamic acid, that can be activated by ultraviolet light and 2-photon excitation microscopy have also been described. This method of rapidly uncaging by photostimulation is useful for mapping the connections between neurons, and understanding synapse function. Evolution of glutamate receptors is entirely the opposite in invertebrates, in particular, arthropods and nematodes, where glutamate stimulates glutamate-gated chloride channels. The beta saponids of the receptor respond with very high affinity to glutamate and glycine. Targeting these receptors has been the therapeutic goal of anthelmintic therapy using avermectins. Avermectins target the alpha saponid of glutamate-gated chloride channels with high affinity. These receptors have also been described in arthropods, such as Drosophila melanogaster and Lepiaphthyrus salmonis. A reversible activation of these receptors with avermectins results in hyperpolarization at synapses and neuromuscular junctions resulting in flaccid paralysis and death of nematodes and arthropods. Brain Nonsynaptic Glutamatergic Signaling Circuits Extracellular glutamate in drosophila brains has been found to regulate postsynaptic glutamate receptor clustering, via a process involving receptor desensitization. A gene expressed in glial cells actively transports glutamate into the extracellular space, while, in the nucleus accumbens stimulating group second metabotropic glutamate receptors, this gene was found to reduce extracellular glutamate levels. This raises the possibility, that this extracellular glutamate plays an endocrine-like role as part of a larger homeostatic system. GABA precursor Glutamate also serves as the precursor for the synthesis of the inhibitory GABA and GABAergic neurons. This reaction is catalyzed by glutamate decarboxylase, GAD, which is most abundant in the cerebellum and pancreas. Stiffman syndrome is a neurologic disorder caused by anti-GAD antibodies, leading to a decrease in GABA synthesis, and, therefore, impaired motor function such as muscle stiffness and spasm. Since the pancreas is also abundant for the enzyme GAD, a direct immunological destruction occurs in the pancreas and the patients will have diabetes mellitus. Flavor enhancer. Glutamic acid, being a constituent of protein, is present in every food that contains protein, but it can only be tasted when it is present in an unbound form. Significant amounts of free glutamic acid are present in a wide variety of foods, including cheese and soy sauce, and is responsible for umami, one of the five basic tastes of the human sense of taste.
Glutamic acid is often used as a food additive and flavor enhancer in the form of its salt, known as mana sodium glutamate, MSG. Nutrient. All meats, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy products, and combo are excellent sources of glutamic acid. Some protein-rich plant foods also serve as sources 30% to 35% of the protein in wheat is glutamic acid. 95% of the dietary glutamate is metabolized by intestinal cells in a first pass. Plant growth. Oxigo is a plant growth preparation that contains 30% glutamic acid. NMR spectroscopy. In recent years, there has been much research into the use of IDCs in NMR spectroscopy. A glutamic acid derivative, polybenzyl L glutamate, PBLG, is often used as an alignment medium to control the scale of the dipolar interactions observed. Production. China based Fufen Group Limited is the largest producer of glutamic acid in the world, with capacity increasing to 300,000 tons at the end of 2006 from 180,000 tons during 2006, putting them at 25% minus 30% of the Chinese market. Mihuo is the second largest Chinese producer. Together, the top five producers have roughly 50% share in China. Chinese demand is roughly 1.1 million tons per year, while global demand, including China, is 1.7 million tons per year. Pharmacology. The drug vincyclidine, more commonly known as PCP, antagonizes glutamic acid non-competitively at the NMDA receptor. For the same reasons, dextromethorphan and ketamine also have strong dissociative and hallucinogenic effects. Acute infusion of the drug Li-354740, also known as aglumigod, an agonist of the metabotropic glutamate receptors 2 and 3, resulted in a marked diminution of yotimbine-induced stress response in bonded macaques, macacoradiata, chronic oral administration of Li-354740 in those animals led to markedly reduced baseline cortisol levels, approximately 50%, in comparison to untreated control subjects. Glutamate does not easily pass the blood-brain barrier, but, instead, is transported by a high-affinity transport system. It can also be converted into glutamine. It can also be converted into glutamine.